Alright, what's up guys? KB Special Ops, Dom and Mike here to do a review on the JG G3A3. Yes. Uh, this gun originally comes with a uh, rail interface system. What is it, uh, 10 inches maybe? Probably longer, I mean. It's gotta be like, what, a foot? Like, <laughs> think about that. I mean, yeah, it's about a foot. Alright, so. Let's talk about some features on this gun. Um, what features do you want to talk about first? Let's talk about the mag. The mag? Yeah. Okay, so the mag, well this is my gun, so I get to throw it around a little bit. Um, it's super duper duper, what? Okay, alright. Mag is uh, 500 rounds. I duct tape mine because there's one thing I don't like, is at the bottom, it'll pink off right here and then it might fall out. But uh, it's cool, I tape it up, like I know what I'm doing, like because I'm smart and shit. So, f holds 500 rounds, still works flawlessly. Um, it's a little tiny, like, trapdoor-ish thing. Really, really easy. You see you got a lot of space in there, you know? So, I mean, like, how many ever, and this gun, what, works on anything? Yeah, like, pretty Any much. kind of, like, BBs? Alright, so, obviously, 6mm BBs are gonna, are really, really hard to find. So, you know, like hopefully you can get some of those. <laughs> but, um, so here is, um, the own Defia selector. It is not a double sided, but it does have that little tiny cool thing right there. So let's just, uh, get really in depth in this. So S means safe, E means single. Yeah, and then F means fire. Full <laughs> It means fire a lot. Um, what came in the box with this gun is obviously a big unjamming rod. Another thing that I really, really liked, uh, that was actually very, very convenient, was, um, the orange flash hider is pretty easy to get off, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell about that process a little bit. Uh, yeah, there wasn't a screw in there you had to take off or something? Yeah, you, you know, it comes with a screw, but, like, I just, what I do is I'm smart, so I take a bolt cutter. Oh, just, yeah, we cut it off. I just cut, I just <laughs> cut it right here. And then just rip the plastic off with like a a, a a thing. I'm too lazy to. I don't even turn it off. I gotta just break it off. Mm -hmm. But um, it comes with this like solid metal flash hider, and it's really really nice. Comes with the big battery, right? Yep. Comes with a. Um, no wait, actually, this doesn't come with the other one. Came with a big battery, but this one does not come with a big battery. This one comes with a very very small 8.4, and actually, <laughs> so. <laughs> So, this is where the battery goes. You're gonna poop this down, and then I changed. So what I did was, since I have two G3s, I took the big uh, butt stock from my old G3, and then put it on here. Because first of all, it gives me more room for a battery. It's more accessible, because the other one's very slim. It's only, when you get first get the gun, it's only like mm, that. It's like that big. So between those two fingers. but. Also because it gives me a little bit uh, more decent eye relief as opposed to being up here. So I get a little bit more eye relief, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so I get a bigger space for batteries. But uh, if you noticed, there's enough space. This is a very spacious stock. There's enough space to actually carry the ah, shiznitch on that his dizzle. All right, <laughs> so there's actually enough space to carry the other connector that I can't get out. But... Uh, Tell them about the wires, Tom. The wires? Well, yeah, it comes with the small connector. changes it out to the large because it has the big battery. And if you notice, this is what the thing connects actually between the yeah, two wires and, and the gun. Next to the gearbox. It does not need... Put, put that back in for me. It does not at all need um, the side of the wires. All that needs to do is you take connector female and then put connector male inside of it. And that's pretty much what happens. And there are those tiny little tiny uh, metal connectors that I showed you. So, um, basically the gun is all plastic on the outside except for the uh, outer barrel mm -hmm. and the rail system that used to be on there, but we took it off. And even, I, I, I can guarantee you that like, the heaviest part of the gun uh, is probably the stock or the mag. Yeah. Everything else is incredibly light, uh, which is great because it's a huge gun, uh, has a really, really nice barrel length, but it is super duper duper uh, light and you can 
The fa my favorite thing about this gun is that since it is plastic, I know it sounds really, really weird, but I like it because if I do drop it, um, it shakes a little bit to absorb the impact as opposed to a metal gun, which would just snap. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, the charging hand on it's pretty awesome. You just pull it back right here. It's like a, um, sorry, Don has there. retarded hands. So it's, it's kind of like a giant MP5. It's Locks basically... back, and there's your hop up right there. You just turn it, and you want it. It's like the least slap it back down. Least sophisticated bolt catch there ever has been ever. Um, um the internals of this gun are very strong. Mike had his what the old G3 for like three years. Five. Five years didn't break once. And this but um obviously with five years on a JG thing, you're going to have um it's gonna slow down after a while. Yeah. But my rate of fire on the JG was already slow to start out with. On my old one. Yeah, these things. This thing goes just about goes a little bit farther than my SR10. And that's because it has a longer barrel, but it's half the price too. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but I was incredibly surprised when I found out that this gun on a uh, 96 can get out about what 19 rounds a second was. Somewhere on there. On a first 96, it is actually very very fast, and I got to tell you that JG is stepping up their game, and I'm very very satisfied. As for a takedown with this gun, there will be no like M4 pins. That may be a good step first. <laughs> so, as for a takedown on the G3A3 weapon system, you want to notice that there are two screws right here. Um, unscrew these two screws, the regular screws, then pop these two pins up, stock comes off. Once you get the stock to come off, unscrew this. And it's the exact same kind of screw as on the stock. You unscrew that, and then you pop this thing off. And then the lower receiver detaches from the upper receiver. And then you can pull your barrel out, and your entire gearbox is actually like right there. So it's really, really easy. And uh, one thing about this gun I don't like is that I had to buy this rail. It's not enough rails to start out with. <laughs> not enough optics. So, like... I mean, the iron sights are fucking impeccable, but like, come back here, come back here. oh right, but. Alright, so Michael, what would you rate this gun at ten? Well, since I've had G3s for such a long time, my first one was OD green. This one's black. Mm -hmm. You know, living out the Jay Z legacy. Um, I guess that uh, I'm gonna have to rate this one not only because of my sentimental connection from for this gun. But just because of the practicality, the pricing, and just overall handing of this weapon system, I'm going to have to rate this gun a 2 out of 10. <laughs> I'm joking, no. Um, I'm going to have to rate this gun at least a 9. I can do everything with this gun, you know? And that's uh, pretty much it. I'm Mike from KP Special Ops. And I'm Don from KP Special Ops. And I love you.